subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals, PL900. So let's get started. Question number 1, you have a Power Apps app. You create a new version of the app and then publish the new version. A customer goes through the process of restoring the previous version of the app. In the version tab for the app, you will see two versions of the app. Review the underlined text. If it makes the statement correct, select no change is needed. If the statement is incorrect, select the answer choice that makes the statement correct. Your options are A. No change is needed. B1 C3 D4 The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2. A company uses Dynamics 365 Sales. The company uses a browser-based app named Sales Hub. You need to ensure that users can access data from mobile devices. Which app should users install? Your options are A. Dynamics 365 Remote Assist B. Dynamics 365 Finance C. Dynamics 365 Business Central D. Dynamics 365 for Phones The correct answer is option D. And, here's the explanation of the answer. Question number 3, you are a customer service manager. You need to implement a Power Apps portal that allows customers to submit cases. Which type of data source is used? Your options are A. Dynamics 365 Connector B. Microsoft SharePoint C. Microsoft Azure Storage D. Common Data Service The correct answer is, option B. Question number 4. A distribution company has multiple warehouses. Tax rates charged on sales orders need to be calculated based on locality and region. You need to recommend a cost-effective solution that can be implemented quickly. What should you recommend? Your options are A. Check app source for a tax add-on B. Create alerts in Dynamics 365 Finance for tax table changes C. Implement the common data model D. Run a Power BI report E. Write scripts and code tax updates The correct answer is, option B. Question number 5 you need to implement Microsoft Business Applications along with the Microsoft Power Platform. Which three Microsoft products are part of the Power Platform? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Microsoft Power Apps B. Azure Active Directory C. Azure Machine Learning D. Microsoft Power BI The correct answers are Option A, and D. And, here's the explanation of the answer. Question number 6, a large retail company implements Power Apps, Microsoft Flow, and the Common Data Service. The board of directors is asking whether users are finding value in the technology. The company would like to measure and report usage of the software. You need to recommend a tool to determine software usage. What should you recommend? Your options are. A. Microsoft Intune B. Azure Stream Analytics C. Power Platform Analytics D. Dynamics 365 Product Insights The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7, a company uses Power Platform. You must ensure that users cannot share customer data with other users. You must also ensure that users cannot connect to data sources, unless you grant the user explicit permissions to access a data source. You need to recommend solutions to meet the company's security requirements. Which two types of policies should you recommend? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Office Cloud Policies B. Group Policy Objects C. Environment level policies D. Tenant level policies E. Preset security policies The correct answers are, option C, and D. Question number 8, a co-worker is creating an app in Power Apps, and needs to automatically synchronize data from an external source. The co-worker is unable to locate a suitable Microsoft-approved connector template and app source. 
you need to recommend a solution for the co-worker. What should you recommend? Your options are A. Create a custom connector B. Ask the outside source to send you the data once a week C. Use Power Automate to connect to the database D. Open a ticket with Microsoft and request a new connector E. Use Microsoft Azure Service Bus The correct answer is, option A. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 9, a toy company creates a text classification model in AI Builder to monitor customer feedback for specific keywords. When negative feedback is received for a toy, the company wants to proactively perform engineering reviews for the toy and schedule additional training sessions for workers who produce the toy. What are two possible ways to achieve the goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Create a Canvas app B. Implement the virtual agent C. Build a power automate flow D. Use the common data model The correct answers are, option A, and C. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 10. A company is evaluating ways that they can implement AI Builder. For which two scenarios can you use AI Builder? Each correct selection presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Your options are A. Send emails to all users who subscribe to a service. B. Synchronize data from an external database. C. Collect data from several data sources and display a dashboard that shows trending data. D. Interpret images and perform an action on the image. E. Detect patterns in data and predict outcomes. The correct answers are, option D, and E. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.